Welcome back. You've joined us early on a Sunday morning as we're departing the Ridges Wellington Airport Hotel. We've been in town for a couple of days. Uh, we came down for a HOG Directors Conference that was held at the hotel. Right down on the Friday, I put that up in a previous video. And today is Sunday, we're heading back to Auckland. So the ride starts heading through the central city. I was unable to film a lot of this on the way through, so we're going to make up for it now and show you how it looks coming through to Wellington Airport, back to the central city, State Highway 1, up into the hills. Now the weather was supposed to be good today, um, but maybe it was just because we were a little bit early on the road. It wasn't quite as flash as we were hoping for. We, there was a lot of low mist around, which kind of eventually turned into low mist slash rain on the, uh, as we're climbing out of Wellington, but yeah, that's okay. It wasn't pouring with rain, wasn't awful conditions. We were pretty happy in fact because there had been some pretty terrible weather the previous day on the uh, Saturday in town. It wasn't that pleasant at all. So we're pretty glad that we hadn't ridden down that day like the uh, crew from the East Coast chapter who arrived a little bit wet and bedraggled in the morning. Now anyone that's been to Wellington by plane and caught a cab into the city will recognise this way. This is leading us through to the Mount Victoria Tunnel which has a few strange customs um, peculiar to Wellingtonians where you're in the tunnel, you've got to either rev or toot. Well, we're on Harley Davidson so I think you can take a guess what choice we made. Have a listen. certainly unable to confirm or deny who was making all that racket in the tunnel but it certainly did uh, make some good echoes in there so maybe the Wellingtonians have got a point and we'll have to look at the tunnels in Auckland in a new light when we return to town. Anyway we're now circling, we've come through the tunnel, we're now circling the Basin Reserve, it's a one-way system around here and we're going to, this is all State Highway 1 by the way, and we're going to pretty much cut through um, a couple more tunnels, I think it's called the Aris Tunnel and then the Terrace Tunnel which will then lead us around into the waterfront. It's, well certainly on anyway Sunday morning quite early, it's probably a little after 8 o'clock by now, uh, this road was a, a pleasure to ride on like all the motorways in the country. They work really well and there's hardly any other vehicles on them. Ahead here is where they, uh, after the end of Karo Drive, is around about the point where they said, Well, you know, we're not going to bother naming these things anymore. This is called it State Highway 1 only. And so that's what we're on now. This is now cutting us through, heading towards the waterfront. This is the Terrace Tunnel. And once we come out of here, we will be passing by the Wellington uh, CBD, Central City. Also, past the Beehive, but we won't, the Houses of Parliament for New Zealand but we won't really get a decent view of that at all. Um, eventually the road will kind of snake down towards the waterfront. We'll skirt alongside of that for a little bit. Um, I didn't really get too much captured of the waterfront. Uh, in fact, I became a little bit more concerned about the idea that I hadn't mentioned to Camo, our ride leader, that uh, I was really low on fuel. So I was waiting for a chance up ahead just waiting to see are we going to pull over or not. I'm sure we were, but uh, both Camo and Shane, they've got uh, much bigger tanks than me on my bike. Trude has got a similar sized tank. Pretty sure we would be pulling over at least for her. However, I didn't want to have another situation like I had a couple of weeks back, so I scooted up alongside Camo just to point to the tank and let him know, please sir, can we have a little bit of a stop at some point? Uh, soon after I did this I did get a low fuel light come on on a tank so I wasn't kidding. The last time we'd filled up was uh, back up north in Taihapi and we've travelled about 260k since then so 
I think my bike will do about 320k on a good day, um, travelling two up with all the luggage, but uh, I don't want to really test it too far, especially travelling up Transmission Gully, which seems to stretch on for quite some time, with uh, not too much in the way of service stations along the way. So it was as well to uh, at least let the uh, ride leader know, hey, I'm going to need some fuel, and that's what it did. I'm just noticing now some condensation on the camera lens and as it was in the camera lens it was like that on my visor as well that uh, this fog was pretty clingy and didn't uh, it's not like rain you can't just kind of move your head to uh, let a wind take it off it just sits there so you've got to wipe it with your hands just to clear the visor and see where you're going anyway I could see that camo was indicating a turn for us up ahead and this is the Johnsonville off-ramp and there is a Z service station just at the, uh, just by the exit. So great timing. And uh, from here on up, once we topped up again, we were good to go for a very long time indeed. And that was the beginning of our journey back to Auckland. I might pick up a little bit more of this later on, but in the meantime, I'm going to leave it right there. And uh, wish you all safe riding. Have fun out there. Take care. See you on the road.